guys, DVD Mike, back with another update. This is going to be all Blu-rays in this one. I've ordered a DVD and I've got a couple more Blu-rays coming through. But, for all the DVD fans, there will be a DVD in the next update. But starting off with one I got today in the post, Children of Men, Alfonso Cuarón film, with Clive Owen, Julianne Moore and Michael Caine. Great movie um, about, basically set in the future, no child has been born, well, oh, yeah. Year 2027, no child been born for 18 years, and Clavin gets tasked with escorting the only pregnant woman in the world to a safe haven. I won't go into it too much, it's amazing, really well directed, where they are really well written. I'll learn to speak in a minute. It's just there. It's been out on HD DVD before, and obviously DVD. Um, but finally out in the UK on Blu ray. Next we got um, a couple I bought in Blockbuster. I did have a hundred quid's worth in my hand until my friend who was with me went, yeah, no, a bit much. Eastern Promises, this was only £10. David Cronenberg film. Mainly bought because of Vincent Cassell, who is the man. So cool that one of the other films I've ordered is a Vincent Cassell movie. He is just the coolest guy in the universe. About Russian mobsters and Naomi Watts, who um, is a midwife, delivers a baby for this young girl. And she's trying to find out who the father is and who the family is and what happened and how she died after she dies during labour. Really cool, really, really violent, awesome movie. Next, one I haven't seen in quite a while, I bought on DVD but didn't watch more than once. Uh, Master and Commander, which is a film by Peter Weir. Yep, Peter Weir. Um, not a big fan of Russell Crowe. I do love Paul Bettany, he's awesome. Who he plays his um, first mate. Um, really good film for sound demonstration. It sounds amazing during the um, battles. It has got quite a few extras, deleted scenes and things. It's basically mostly what was on the two disc Fox Special Edition. But this was only 13 quid, so I thought, yeah, why not? Another £10 pickup from Blockbuster, Total Recall. Has zero extras on this, but I'm not too surprised due to the fact that um, Schwarzenegger actually charges for his commentaries. The one that was on the American Planet Tin, that was um, one that I think it was $32,000 he charged for it. So not many people can license it because it was expensive for our sound to a license. So it's just the film on its own, no extras whatsoever. I haven't seen it in years. It's one of these Paul Verhoeven's 80 film, 80s films that really weirds me out in a way because it's so dirty and violent and nasty. It makes me feel like I need a wash afterwards. It's like Robocop. It's just kind of, I don't know, nasty. But it's a cool little film. It has some awesome effects work and some pretty cool, I don't know, just some cool sci-fi ideas. But it's been a long time since I've watched it. Um, I didn't realise that. The screenplay, screenplay is by Roland Shusset and Dan O'Bannon, who wrote Alien. I didn't know that. And there we go. Next, another film that I've barely seen. I saw it once in the cinema, uh, mainly because of the director, Martin Campbell, and didn't watch it at all on DVD, VHS, Lace Disc, anything. I have no idea why. Um, Vertical Limit which is Chris O'Donnell, Bill Paxton, Robin Turney and Scott Glenn in a basically they try to update the cliffhanger style idea for the year 2000 it's not bad from what I can remember but it's a very long time and I'm a big Bill Paxton fan or Bill Dead Meat Paxton as he's known in our household has got a commentary by Martin Campbell and seven featurettes so not a lot on there but it's got PCM 5.1, so at least it'll sound good. It'll be a decent demonstration piece. This was another 13 quid one in HM. In, we'll learn to talk in a minute. In um, Blockbuster. They've got quite a lot in there that's quite cheap at the moment. Next, um, one we waiting for for quite a while. This is 30 quid in HMB. 30. 3 0. 11 99 from Amazon. Monsters Inc. Now, I've been waiting for this to come out for a while. But the main problem is, I don't know if you can see that on the video, it got mullered in the post. And the back's even worse. It's really bad. It's only a slip cover, but since all my Pixar films have slip covers on Blu-ray, 
I don't really want to take it off because they all match. Um, another film I've barely seen, I didn't watch it when it first came out, um, I watched it a couple of times since on DVD, but I never owned it until now, but I'm trying to buy all the Pixar's on Blu-ray. Has two discs, bonus features there, and the film. It doesn't actually say what's on them though, it's got Filmmakers Roundtable, um, Ride and Go Seat, Building Monstropolis in Japan, and Roz's 100 Door Challenge Game. But that can't be all of them, so there must be something on here that isn't on the back, which is kind of annoying. And I think the extras on Eastern Promises, not a lot on there. Se Secrets and Stories and Mark for Life, which I'm guessing are just featurettes. And Children of Men has got a lot. This is basically what's on the two disc um, DVD, but it has got picture in picture access, interactive cast crew interviews and behind the scenes footage while you watch a movie. Plus it's got Creating the Baby, Deleted Scenes, Futuristic Designs, Theo and Julian, Under Attack, Possibility of Hope, and comments by some guy who I'm not going to pronounce his name. Um, so there we go. Just a few there. Like I say, there's a few more on order at the moment, so hopefully they'll come in the next couple of days. So there might be a new video going up, but I've gone a bit crazy this month, so there might even be another update after that. But until the next time, Steve and Mike saying see you again.